Hi, my name is Peach and let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how I retime my clips in DaVinci Resolve. The method I'm going to be using was taught to me by Frostbitten's Velocity Tutorial and I'm going to show you the way that I use it in my edits. To start off, I'm going to have my clips like this and I'm going to twix them. If you don't know how to twix or use optical flow on your clips, I do have a tutorial I'll link at the top of the screen right now. Right now I'm just going to go over a brief summary of what I do, but the first thing I'm going to do is make a new bin in our master media pool. I'm just going to right click over here, hit new bin. Let's open it up and then I'm going to compound clip my clips. Just like that. I have it bind to C where I can compound clip, but if you want to compound clip, just right click, go up to new compound clip at the top, rename it to whatever you want. And yeah, the way I'm going to start my fixer, I'm just going to go inside this clip, right click, go all the way up to open in timeline. I have it bind to T, so I can just go like that. So once I'm in this timeline, I'm going to duplicate the footage so I have something to work with. And I'm going to twix this footage, or I'm just going to cut up the, all these clips individually. Alright, now with this, I'm going to go through each frame and delete the duplicate frames. Alright, now we have our footage like this. What I'm going to do is highlight all these clips and compound clip these clips. And now what we do, we can do instead of uh, run, going to the delivery page and rendering this out, we can actually right click this, hit render in place, and it brings up this little pop up menu. And what you can do from here is choose a format, which I do AVI and uncompressed and RGB, and hit render. And then now you can save it to any folder that you want, and it pretty much pre renders it in your page. So I'm just gonna put it in my Twixer folder that I have for Bunny Girls and Clips right here. And now it is its own clip and you don't have to re-import it, it's just gonna turn that compound clip into a render. So what I'm gonna do is apply my slow motion settings, which is up here, project settings, optical flow, enhance better, go fill and smoother. And what I'm gonna do for retiming is hit Control R, and I'm gonna hit this arrow and choose 10%. Now here comes the retiming part. What I'm gonna do is find out how long do I need this Twixer section to be. So what I'm gonna do is go to this button and go to this button and it'll bring up this little timeline viewer right here. And so you can uh, switch between your timelines. I'm just gonna go to the first timeline and count how many frames you have on here, or you can actually shorten a clip or extend it to however you want and it tells you how long that clip is. This is gonna be a, a one second and 11 frames. So I can just go over here and measure out one second and 11 frames. Just like that. I usually go about one frame past it just in case things mess up. And what I'm going to do here is add a fusion clip. So I'm going to go to my effects library, toolbox effects, fusion composition, put it on the timeline and cut it where we need it. Now what I'm going to do next is create a second bin, go into it, and then I'm going to compound this clip in that bin. So you want to make sure you have this bin open so it reacts to this clip. So if I just compound clip this clip, it'll go into here just like that. And I'm going to go into fusion on this fusion clip and drag the footage that we just compound clipped onto the fusion page and connect it up. And now this is where we can do our retiming once we add a time stretcher node. Just that one and it'll automatically keyframe the first frame. If you don't have your playhead at the beginning, it'll be zero at somewhere else, so make sure you play at the beginning once you, before you add the time stretcher. So in order to use the time stretcher, uh, you need to understand that wherever this frame is over here is whatever frame that is, is here. So you can see there's 169 frames in this media. So if we just put this to go to the end, keyframe it and do like 170, you can see it places the whole clip and now we can do our retiming with that. It's just open up our spline, open up the source time, zoom to fit, and we could do any curve that we want. There's two common curves to do when you're retiming. There's the curve that goes like this, which is it goes fast at the beginning, slow in the middle, and fast at the end. Just play it like this. And then there's the other technique, which is a, what I was taught by Keaton's tutorial, which is this kind of curve where it starts off fast and gets slow. I might need to go 10 frames back, something like that. And yeah, 
that's how you kind of read time this is the curve i'm i usually use the most um if there's too many frames i could adjust these frames so like if i didn't want the first two frames of the actual footage i could do 20 since i slowed down the footage to 10 percent and it just goes like that you can mess around with the curve there is no specific way of doing it just in the general um, direction you can even do stuff like this where it's a little faster at the end but it's all preference but yeah you can just do this with the rest of your clips and that's how you really get really, some really smooth motion so i'm just going to do this for the rest of the clips and show you what it looks like all right with some slides and a 1080 crop this is what it looks like <laughs> If you have any more questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down in the comment sections below. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMV Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own Discord server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.